Yeah, I noticed nobody was down up. there in the pit celebrating right. with it. And all the ostriches are like, look, turkey's fine. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> all right, let's show you what's going on. We do have some clouds out there. We do have some storms to the south of the city. We'll get to that in just one second, but not bad this afternoon with partly cloudy skies out there. And we will see things cool down a bit with those showers to our south working their way in our direction, hoping it's going to take a little edge off the heat here. And we are seeing the showers start to advance up from the south and another band developing here from the north. So we're going to fill in some of these showers over the city over the next little bit here. So we'll get a little bit of rain anyway and keep it around for at least the next hour or so. Hopefully we can do even a little better than that. Showers also back out toward Grants and Gallup at this hour. We're also seeing a few more around Las Vegas, but these are starting to die out along the edge of the mountains, especially along the eastern edge of the Sangre de Cristo. Things starting to die out as well, just to the east of Raton, but across the south and west, we're still getting some storms leaking their way into parts of Catron County and over into Scoro County as well, picking up some showers. Here in the metro, we're at 90 degrees. Southeast winds are gusty out there at 20 miles an hour. Across the state, areas that have seen some showers have cooled down nicely, 70 Two in Los Alamos, one of those areas, 81 in Santa Fe, 77 Las Vegas, where we've had some showers in the area. And across the south, been largely quiet here. Most of the action has been just north of Silver City and not a lot going on over the Sacramento Mountains for today. But a look at the shower shows pretty similar to what we had yesterday as far as the setup goes. Northeast to southwest, we're curling some of that moisture around the high, which is sitting to our east. And as that happens, we get a few storms, especially over mountain sections and out to the west. But we will see some significant changes here over the next couple of days. That high, which is sitting to our east right now, will slide back over the state here. Now, initially, you would think, well, that's going to go ahead and put an end to any of the showers. Not necessarily. We're going to get a pretty good cold front coming in here late tomorrow, but really on Saturday with cooler conditions, storms across the northeast on Saturday, and then maybe eventually across the west by Sunday. Good-looking cold front for this time of year, so we should not only get some showers out there, but we'll knock down our temperatures a bit as well. Across eastern New Mexico, we could be lucky to hit 70 degrees or so throughout the day on Sunday with a lot of cloud cover, so it's going to feel like fall, especially across the northeast. East. For tomorrow, kind of a mini front comes in and gives us a few more showers and more of a concentration of storms across the northeast and over into west central sections. We could see a spot shower as well. Then you'll notice things get a little more intense as far as the rain goes on Saturday across the northeast as well, especially along the east slopes of the northern mountains, stretching back with a scattered shower possible over the Albuquerque area. And then it looks like the focus of the showers will go a little farther to the west on Sunday with those cooler temperatures statewide. 80s and 90s across the four corners for tomorrow. Some ice isolated storms and that chance of showers continues into the weekend with temperatures continuing to dip but not all that far you guys in the four corners are a little too far west to see a huge impact from the cold front 95 TRC 91 in Glenwood 88 Silver City scattered storms tomorrow and that chance continues toward the weekend with a high of 80 by Monday over into the southeast temps here in the high 90s for tomorrow but this is where you start to see the real temperature impact of that front 89 by Sunday and 85 by Monday so significantly cooler. Remember, just a few days ago, we were well over 100 degrees across the southeast, so that'll start to change. This is the area that will see the biggest drop-off temperature-wise and the best chance for showers through Saturday, but then a high on Sunday of just 72 degrees. Meanwhile, northern mountains, temp's going to top out tomorrow, 70s and 80s, scattered storms out there, and that chance of showers continues all the way through the weekend and into next week. Santa Fe, 78 degrees on Sunday for a high. Meanwhile, down into the East Mountains, temperatures here in the 90s for tomorrow with scattered storms. And finally, right in the metro, we'll top it out in the low 90s. An isolated shower possible again for tomorrow. The chances go up a little bit over the weekend as temperatures go down 82 for a high in Albuquerque on Sunday. Very comfortable. Thank you, Mark. Sports is next.